brings his skills uh, to the offline and has been crushing the competition for a good few years now. Uh, the new prodigy uh, now starting to show his stuff against Vivi, uh, the invader. We'll see what happens. It's going to be the hero. There's a little bit of a storyline coming in here too, Nerf, because Somebody sponsored by Waypoint Cafe came down to MDVA. It was Fawn at Xanadu Homecoming, right? That Xanadu 500, where Enhance actually lost to her. And yeah. on the ride down here, Fawn told me, hey, I actually think Enhance played the matchup really well. He just kind of got outplayed. So, right. and VV Fawn, not only sponsored by the same group, but very close friends, right? If you wanted coaching, you have one of Enhance's last out of region losses to lean on. And I mean, what better practice could you ask for than that? Right, and from what I've seen from Vivi, uh, they have a really good uh, buff prioritization. So obviously going for bounce, especially in a projectile-based matchup, at least limits some of enhanced PP's long-range options. Uh, Cloud still has some great aerial drift going in with that back air, and right now he's looking for the timing with the fair as well. You can tell enhanced PP trying to bob and weave around Vivi's options and shielding appropriately, just looking for an edge guard now. And that ledge slip, first ledge slip into the climb hazard was really interesting from Enhance. Just finding the ability to turn around, position himself for back air a little faster, and calling out the neutral getup. Full charge to boot. That's absolutely brutal. What can VV find here? And one buff, but there's that limit coming in. Right, got a little of analysis paralysis on the menu options, and then Enhanced PV comes in swinging, but still can't get back with that big delayed back air, with catching with the very top of the upswing. That's just enough to take the stock here, too. Very strong move, but slow. Enhanced PV's got to be careful about those long delayed moves. And one of the things we're seeing from VV here early is a lot more reliance on forward air than they normally use. We see a lot of neutral air out of them on average as an air to air, as an air to ground, but you can't do that against Cloud because his sword's just that much bigger than yours. Right. All right, we are getting a little bit of a grab game, something that you gotta get uh, every time you can because gra uh, Cloud has a very poor grab range. Uh, Heroes isn't much better, I'll say that, but at least you're able to get something here. VB now having to contend with the limit on deck, and can we see what that option's gonna be? It's gonna be the Blade Beam just clapped his, oh, and that's the stock. That's just gonna be an unfortunate situation. We're just knocking the noggin. That felt like BB got clipped by the very bottom and then got sucked back up into that blade beam nerf. Or VV trying to find some tricky movement with that buff to set up the overcommitment on a dash to find the hit. Is able to do so there. This oomph and now the psych up to boot. The next hit will just make enhance explode. But can you find it? Up to gonna do it. And nerf just like that. There's one stock left in this game one. Best of five. These two players are trying to set the tone for the set right now. It's interesting, going right in with the Accelerate as well. Three fairs trying to catch some more here with the Zapple. Not going to get anything, but again, we're charging that. That's a lot of MP. Uh, Got to be careful. That's half of your MP already used, and if you're not landing these neutrals, uh, you're not going to be able to get anything. But I love the tech uh, cover with that uh, fully charged neutral B. Oh, no. The roll. Oh. I'm sorry, which, so, which dragon thing is it? Is this Dragon Quest or Dragon Ball? Dragon that was, Quest, that was, yeah. That was a, that was a comment Crazy. On, on right there. That was just full Felt point like blank. It. I'm just gonna absolutely right. annihilate you. But Gin gets the psych up and the oomph. Uses the last of the MP right there to get the double buff kill with the back air. Now that's the thing. It's the jump from ledge that Enhanced BV had been caught by that back air with uh, for so many times. And this is just another instance. And BV's positioning to right at the ledge and the platform, being able to cover both any any on stage option, right? Whether you go high, try to land on plat, whether you try to mix up drop through it, or whether you just try to land back to ledge, right? VV was right. putting themselves in position to cover everything. Speaking of positioning though, getting themselves in the corner early, but keeping in hands trapped under that plat, giving themselves a little bit extra flexibility to try and set up some of these swoosh combos. I mean, it's interesting. VV in the uh, the second game already steadfast in the face of Enhanced VV's increased aggression. We're already seeing Enhanced go out swing and looking for as many close range situations as he can to avoid these buffs from coming out. Still, they are inevitable. Once you get one situation off stage, a sizzle, you can get a heal and more. And now he's just looking for another one of these clutch back airs. Has uh, very good precision with those. And very good tech there as well, but finding the back air again, Enhance has not been able to lock down the timing of that move, whereas Vivi is lining up right Cloud just want to go for falling back air, and so that's going to get parried time and time again with predictable timing of it. 
interesting climb hazard there, right? And Hanzo's trying to find any way to cover the space that Vivi is dancing around, trying to occupy some very non-traditional movement here from them, but just trying to find any way possible to take advantage of this poor frame data. Yeah, and that's the thing. Once your back is against the wall like this, and Hans BB realizes that he is being outplayed, at least in the first couple of games, he's got to take a step back, take a uh, an increased level of patience, and go back in with a clear head. Figure out, okay, what can I get you to do to mess up instead of me just running at you and hoping something sticks? We get that roll read too, and that's a limit cross slash to take the first stock. Yeah, right, that's so, it's so hard to get away from that limit cross slash. The only real option is to parry that last hit and Vivi just not quite ready, having already committed. Gunning given hands the opening, which he's picking up right where he left off, right? Already just 44%, just racking it on. As these two players play a patient neutral, and what Enhance has done is, rather than try and figure out that back air timing, has just said, I'm just never gonna put myself in a position relative to you where you can even swing the back air. Well, he did get a couple parries as well, and now we're starting to see a like, very nice juggle here. Looking for that read as well. Can't go anywhere except that up. And disgusting. that's just toast. Enhanced BB covering all of that space for all of that time with the limit cross slash well played. And VV now just looking for some charge, right? Trying to find anything to give a threat of pressure. Those partially charged fireballs are gonna combo. The fully charged one's just gonna kill. So even getting them online makes Enhance have to back off, but he's just playing so patiently, letting that ski shield whittle down to a skittle. It doesn't matter as long as it doesn't pop, right? You can just rack on this damage. Cloud's single hit are so, so good nerf. I mean, and that was smart awareness from Enhanced BB, knowing that he was getting excre uh, extra shield pressure because of the oomph, had to wait that out with an aerial game. Uh, and now that aerial game starting to pay off as well. He loses the limit, but it doesn't matter. He's still gonna be looking for one of these uh, very nice edge guards. He's still got a stock to play with as well. And he catches that run up grab. Obviously VB looking for a little bit something greedy. Yeah, and there, even before the grab, right, Vivi kind of getting called out by the startup in the initial dash, so even the grab came out, that cross slash was already on its way. Vivi missing the grab once again, but still able to find the up tilt as coverage. Great anti-air tool, but now nerf. No MP, you're in the corner, you're taking more knockback from these red buffs on your own. Uh, but uh, it can be hard. Yeah, but one hit while you still have oomph and you can do some major damage and that could turn the tides. But now Frozen in shield gonna lose oomph by now and Psych up with that trade is gone too. A zoom to get yourself back, but this is the second time that Enhanced BP has been almost locked on and he's gonna get that off of a delayed kill. It's the dash attack. And what's really impressive about Whoa. those zooms is Enhanced is yeah, Enhance is reacting to the radar very fast, right? Which is what's allowing him to get fi figure out that positioning. But before the radar comes out, there's actually an audio cue that's stereo. And so you can actually hear where on stage he's gonna land. But Enhance isn't playing with headphones on. I mean, Enhance- He can't hear that stereo. Yeah. That's crazy. He's just, he's j his reaction time is actually that good. And yeah, it's so impressive. Yes, Enhance PV is just getting lucky a little bit because he's catching some of these uh, nice spot, uh, life spot coverages, but I mean, he knows uh, that he can pull a little bit more from what he's got in the tank. Let's see what ga uh, game number three has in store for us. We're back on PS2, uh, and yeah, and SPV coming out swinging again, this time starting to actually make those hit connections that he wasn't able to in that last game. And early on here, it may just be one interaction, but whether it's just movement in or a swing, Enhanced feels like he's playing a lot more confident, right? It feels like he is willing to just come in and commit, and that is a big thing when you see the top level cloud succeed, whether it's Enhanced, whether it's Salt One, whether it's Spargo, right? They When they play confident, that's when they're winning. Once they start to get nervous, this character doesn't have the variety if you start to second guess yourself. All right, and now we're getting the timings on these very punishable aerials. Uh, obviously, BB's trying to swing and throw hands with Cloud, but Cloud still can fight back, can hang with the best of them. Yeah, Enhance is playing like a man possessed right now. There is no room for Vivi to try and play the game at all. With these buffs online, it could have been a huge explosion, but how did he find he that back air? The back air should not have connected, but it did, and we take those. And that's going to be a cross slash to get that second stock started off right as well. Now looking for a big oh, no. gut punch call out in that fair. Now might have to use that limit uh, climb hazard to get yourself back, but I, still able to find yourself back in the driver's seat and just I, like that. I like going out for it there, right? You can you try to find the down air on the 
a solution when you don't. Okay, you burn your limit, but the the upside was taking a stock at 20. And if, if you know, I'm gonna burn limit for that too every day of the week. It enhances is just feels I, that he has caught on to everything VV has done. The download, my friend, he's just complete. That first game was all data, and now Enhanced VV seems to know exactly what's going on in your head at all times. Seems to be looking for the reads as well, and very close to getting them. Now this limit could be the decider of this final stock, uh, but still have a 3-1 to one lead that VV has to overcome now. And uh, this is the same situation that Enhanced was kind of in in the last game, where you have to plant your feet, take a step back and say, okay, what can I adapt uh, and do in the next couple minutes to really turn this around? See, I feel like there's a world where Vivi finds a way to take the stock and somehow get, and gets a thwack to at least bring it to last stock, last hit, and everyone is just so angry about it, my friend. But in order to do that, you have to find your way out of the corner. And well, and, and Vivi's been good at getting out earlier in the set. And Hans has just locked it down this game. Vivi has not gotten to play from that position, and it's only a miss spacing on Zoom that even allows them the opportunity to get those feet on the ground again. Right, and I think that's uh, that's one heal, so you get one more this stock if you could find it. Uh, a couple zooms are going to use that MP, but still looking at a healthy enough percent that we are bringing it to a 2-1 to one lead, starting to make this comeback. But that's the last heal that you'll get, uh, and now you're stuck with what you got. 122% got to uh, play this perfectly, Ritual, or else this is going to be curtains. So far, Enhanced VV gets you off stage one too many times. Can you get a zoom? Can you do anything else? Yeah, you still have that MP and Hans trying to call out uh, anything other than a roll. Like, Vivi had gone away from it for so long that Hans kind of stopped respecting the possibility. Now with Accelerotl online, you had the speed, but that's when you chose to commit and Hans pouncing oh, like a tiger. Oh, gonna close it on out. And nerf. I also just wanted to, 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 to note too, right? Like that heal, as you said, right? Only three per stock. But once it's gone, that also means you have a higher chance of pulling anything else. So if you're Vivi, you're probably not that upset because, okay, you heal 15. How, how relevant is 15% versus Cloud who's dealing that to you with a single hit Whoa. instead of where it's like, okay, I might not be able to heal 15 anymore, but man, I get an extra like 2% to, to find the button I want. Yeah, maybe. I mean, at this point, strong. we still uh, we know that the accelerator was the uh, basically the green light for go. But it just meant that Enhanced BB could expect a, a very aggressive approach from BB and threw out that back air for coverage. And that's just all it is. And right now, looking for a couple fares as well. The timing and the conditioning has started to take complete hold. Uh, Enhanced BB is getting a lot of stuff in a very quick succession, almost less than 30 seconds going on in this first game, and now all over 100. And while I recognize PS2 didn't work out last game, I don't know how I feel about going to Smashville here. Such a small, condensed stage with that high center platform that Hero Up Tilt doesn't really reach out to consistently. But Cloud Up Air is still more than capable of juggling. And while and you don't have the space to back away anymore, to even try and, and farm buffs, control the pace of the game, you're forced to scrap with Cloud and he just outplays you in that game. Right. Which Enhance putting on full display. This is the problem, right? Enhanced PV knows that VV as a hero player, they have a horrible time landing because you can't do anything with uh, hero. There that, are no landing options. That Kaboom was disgusting. That Kaboom was very disgusting. It's just, it's just these uh, vertical juggles that are causing a lot of trouble for VV right now uh, because you're very limited on how you're supposed to come back down to land. VV though, with the patience, right? Not out of the set yet by any means. Down percent for sure, but if you can keep Cloud in this corner, that's a lot of damage. The, the swoosh again, right? And the heal to boot, just over 100. So back air here on Smashville, still oh. maybe gonna kill, but the Tomahawk grab, just beautiful discipline from Enhanced. And the uh, the bait out, think you're gonna go for a trump, so you expedite the get up option. And then waiting at the ledge is Enhanced PV. Looking for something here with that dash attack, but it might be the limit. We're gonna see another cross slash. We are indeed, that's untackable. So that's gonna be another way for Enhanced PV. Uh, to break away here, very comfortable, a uh, two to one lead, but still, to, yeah, VV getting these options with the menu. And to get VV into that situation in the first place, Nerf, Nerf we saw in hands actually outswing two backers from VV, right? Something that he wasn't doing early in the set, the timing download absolutely complete. However, when it matters most, VV still has that ace up their sleeve, and if they can just close out the stock, 
I mean, it could be a scary situation indeed because you got to come off that angel plat versus a hero glowing like a Christmas tree. I mean, okay, and runs right up into the up tilt. That's going to be a nice kill move. But yeah, drain completely on the MP. Got to get some of these normal hits to try to uh, refresh the old fuel. But can you get anything here? Just a little bit. The hits on shield also help. They get half mana back. So that's a way for you to still get something here, even on the pressure situations. Yeah. And the delay on the jab, too, to even like find that pressure on the shield poke was just absolutely beautiful from VV. He now has found the flag and just like that, your stock is deleted. That was, that was even what that was You whack. don't even get it. like the lower percent. The the odds of that happening are absolutely the odds of the, that uh, happening that 70 and 15. I believe that's a 2% chance. Well, so at, so at, th at 30 as low as 30, it really doesn't yeah. matter how it's, much the rage has. Well, it I it yeah. is it is about a 2% chance, I believe. Yeah. 2%. Yeah. That's, that's insane. That's just insane. The the percent of that happening is astronomically low, and yet VV seems to have RNG on their side. Yeah, hey, I mean, right, Hero, you never count down and out, and what did I say before, Nerf? There's a situation where VV is down and just gets a low percent thwack, and know, everyone is angry. Uh, and here we are, VV finding the call out when it matters most. Whoa. If you don't like Hero, you know, if you like Hero, sometimes you just gotta gamble. So it was, it was, what, okay. it was... Okay, yeah, so it's about, it was about 60, so it's like 30%. Yeah, about 30, it, was, 30 it was 30, it was opponent at, 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 yeah, 60, and then VV was at like 20, so yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, so pretty, pretty low, but hey, it is what it is. We're going back to Smashville, and Enhanced BV, not going to be taking any chances with that. Already starting to whittle that shield down to almost nothing, try to get that poke uh, to become even more potent. And VV switching up the drip too for this game number five, right? Gotta keep enhanced guessing any way possible. And sometimes that just means put on a different outfit. I guess so. He, he's definitely switching skins almost every time. So look, uh, a lot of people were expecting the thwack, uh, but it's not gonna go for that. It's actually the buff, the accelerator, but that might not be what's gonna help you out here because you're going faster. We'll have to see what you do with it. Yeah, being faster also makes you hard to control. And against a character with as big a hitbox as Cloud, you miss space ever so slightly. He's going to make you pay. But you have to find a way to contest that man, right? When he's got limit flowing through those veins. Nerf, how do you find a way away from the Buster Sword? And that's what Vivi's trying to answer. This could swoosh, and those adjustments with that with the, those tornadoes have really been the X factor for them in games 4 and 5 so far. Right. We'll have to see exactly how he gets off the ledge again. Accelerator has been the buff of choice and has been working a little bit, but the air dodge avoiding that up smash in his BV. It's a smaller stage, so you're gonna get a better chance to uh, to hit the big, the big. Uh, the gold mine with that up smash hit. And VV's jab and F tilt timing mix ups have been so good, calling out the shield drop too. VV, it, it hasn't been the movement, it hasn't been the crazy new combos or setups, it's just been the smallest micro adjustments on timing, whether on anything that has allowed VV to find a way back into this, right? Throwing off the download, enhanced thought he had completed. Yep, yeah, and that was an unfortunate SD, and it could be Enhanced VV's ticket back into this game. Uh, he had made some great adjustments in game number two, uh, but this is the time where they both made adjustments, and it seems as though VV might just come out on top, uh, just because now you could kind of tap it in. You don't have to do too much, uh, just play it safe and wait for Cloud to mess up. Right now, Enhanced VV is swinging, looking for some of these aggressive approaches. So far, it is getting him something, but can he get the big finisher that he's desperately looking for. He won't get the spike, but can he get a second lease? No, not yet. Yeah, beautiful drift there from Vivi at the end. Once recognizing they were going to get hit, right? Able to find that the sour spot on the down air instead to just keep the stock alive. But Enhance has barely gotten hit in a minute nerf. Or finding a one just to get back on the stage and the accelerator just for some pressure. Enhance is nearing the end of the rope and Vivi's got an extra stock to work with. But as soon as Enhance takes the stock away, Vivi's back is just as against the wall as anyone else. And it was smart for Vivi to have bounce up while limit is active because that limits how much Cloud's limit is actually able to do. You can't use the blade beam. One, two, and baby. F, F tilt one, two is gonna clean it up. A two stock in game five. Vivi defeats in hand VV and winners top 32 sends him to the loser side of the bracket. What and an interesting turn of events. Nerf, I got a question. When are we gonna see Enhanced make the trip to New York City now? Because you've just lost in winter, you last tournament that New York came down, you lost to
this tournament you lost to her waypoint cafe brethren